Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Jeremiah Breadved. Breadved, I said that right. You had a show last night, right? Yes, sir. I, I, two shows. Two shows? Yeah. Uh, the first one, I played for a yoga class. I think it's MBS. Wait, um, what? <laughs> yeah, I played for yoga class. They were doing yoga, and I played music in the corner. And then that's I played just... for JNOs, and that's a different type of setting. You know, it's a bar, so it's much louder, and there's microphones, <laughs> and <laughs> a little feedback, bit, and... A little bit different from a yoga class, right? Absolutely. But mentioning Teeth of Wolves now, yes. uh, how how long ago did you release that? That wasn't uh, too long ago. It was probably a few months ago. Just because I wanted to see the layout, see what it looked like, see what it sounded like, and right. have it in my hand. And I like it. So I want to invest some more uh, time and money into it so we can reprint um, oh, some okay. more copies with more of the artwork from the artist Vasil, Vasili. I think that's uh -huh. how you say his name. He's from the UK. Beautiful artwork. And uh, have the lyrics inside. It's eleven songs, so it's it's. I mean, every time I look at it, it looks like a little storybook. And when I open it, I just I have to see page. I want to see pages. Right. So I think the the lyrics and the artwork will paint more of sort of a, I guess a feeling or I don't know, animate something a little bit more. Right. Still leave it open too for interpretation. I have another CD out. I, I that was a solo one. Um, let me see what what went into it just uh experiences throughout my life those are all my songs are pretty personal on some level maybe not the the whole song but it de definitely draws from right from my own my own life uh i get asked sometimes like what my music sounds like this particular album sounds kind of more kind of 90s actually i still i still get surprised too when when people enjoy it i don't know i i guess because it's it's like i said it's pretty personal mm -hmm. and again it's I mean, it's honest, so maybe that's what the, the main thing I think they like about it. As far as to who I sound like, or like uh, that's still up in the air, and I, I'd yeah. rather somebody else do that. That's that's more interesting. And then, and that's kind of how also I, I learn about other music. I read this bot in the back of a kombucha bottle. It said it's not where uh, you take your art, but it's where your art takes you. There you go. And so it's been fun, you know. Like uh, I didn't. Uh, expect to get from my bedroom to open mics to playing oh gigs definitely that's yeah. so fun so uh I, like i said i've had it since 13 but on and off and i've always been interested in words and how they sound and and then the rhythms of words when i'm like reading a book or when the teacher would have us read out loud and, like, when i write a song i don't think about it oh it's going to sound like a punk song or it's going to sound like this particular way i just kind of let it Right itself. I, I couldn't help but notice her Rob Thomas shirt, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, I, I was listening to Matchbox 20 this morning, actually. Uh, you or someone else like you. And I was just listening. I was like, man, these guys are catchy. They, they sound rock and roll, but it's also not. It kind of sounds like classy type of. He's got kind of like a country twang to his voice yeah. or something. I wouldn't mind not being categorized, but I, I would like to have my own sound like, oh, I know that artist. That's who I'm listening to. And there's some people like that where. I don't. I wouldn't really know how to categorize him like him. Like I don't know, but I know it's him when he's singing. Yeah, you know, like I, I know that voice. Song. I know that. I know that structure with of the song. With Santana's like, guitar, like you know it's yeah. Santana too. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That that's like that's like goals right there. That's what you always strive for. Like, yeah, it's to be. To be. Yeah, to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that Kung Fu Panda was telling me that like just learning how to be yourself better. So, you know. Or, or, or maybe creating yourself, you know, becoming yourself or something. Yeah. You know? Not better, but just being yourself. Like I mean, acknowledging and working it from there and not just like trying to be who it is you, you do admire, but just, just as good. Like you can stand side by side with Oh, them, yeah, there you, know you go. Just I mean? as good. I guess that's how people really get into music or that's how I got into music. I know that. I picked up an acoustic and I didn't think, like, I was in a punk rock band. I'm like, how am I going to do this? Then I see, uh, like, Frank Turner. Frank Turner's playing at Reading Fest. Thousands of people, just him and an acoustic. I'm like, why can't I do that? And that's what you got to do. Like, uh, at people at open mics, like, um, I mean, they're already, like, getting up there. So, I mean, I think that's, that's awesome. That's why I love open mics, because those people, I mean, they're doing it.